Hey beautiful people, hope you all are doing very well today. Welcome back to the Young and Independent Show where we discuss a variety of topics to help young folks live lives that are spiritually fulfilled, lives that are value added, lives that are less materialistic and lives that are financially independent. I'm your host Sil and today I want us to talk about eating healthy, right? So a lot of people say that, oh, you know, when I've seen or when I've read um, magazines or news newsletters or watched TV episodes where people are talking about hunger and the reason why they're obese and the reason why they're not eating healthy is they've often said that it's because they are poor. They cannot afford to eat organic food. They cannot afford to uh, spend money to buy vegetables, uh, to buy fruits and all that. Then I asked myself, is that really true? Is that the reason why poor people are not eating healthy or are they just lazy? I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend anyone. I'm just asking a question. Because when I look around me, you know, I see a lot of, um, you know, well, obviously I'm from Africa, right? Of Cameroon in particular. There's a lot of fatal ground in in Cameroon. Cameroon is known as Africa in miniature. And the most I can remember, my grandma, she she's never want, lacked for food. In fact, grandma would send food to us in Douala, where we live. She would literally send food to us. So, and grandma is not rich. She doesn't have a mansion. She lives in a in hut. She lives in a hut. I remember when my father died. And we went to bury him. It was my first time to travel to um, to my village. Uh, and when, I, when we got there, you know, grandpa was unwell at the time. And so I went to see, I'm talking about my maternal uh, par- uh, grandparents. So I went to see my grandpa. And when I got there, uh, you know, after, <laughs> after a crazy walk, my goodness, my goodness. Oh, my God. We literally had to climb hills. Um Steep, very steep hills, uh, ascend and descend. Oh my God, it was my first experience and it wasn't funny. At some point, I just sat on the ground and I said, I can't continue, I need to go back home. And I looked back and I saw the descent and I was like, I better continue. So I woke up, dusted my bum and carried on. I was with my brother, um, my younger brother. But he he looked, he seemed tough and comfortable with the, with the, with the walk. Or with the adventure, you know, I really wanted to see my grandpa. So we we got to grandpa's place. And the first thing I noticed when we got to grandpa's place was that, you know, there were lots of, you know, lots of vegetations around. You know, grandpa had, he had some sort of a mini garden in front of his yard, uh, in front of the, of, in front of the house. You know, where I saw mangoes, I saw orange fruit, I saw mandarins, I saw um, plums, I saw avocado, I saw papaya. Um, and then when I went to the, you know, I started hearing sounds. There was some, a pig, sounds from a pig. So I went to the backyard and I was like, Grandpa, you have pigs as well? He's like, yeah. And he had chicks, so he was, you know, um, raising chicks and pigs I was like, wow. And he said to my grandma, you, should, you better cook something for your namesake. I'm, I'm named after my grandma. So um, grandma went in and she made something really nice. And when she served it, oh my God, it was so tasty. Very organic, very tasty. And I was like, yes, this is what I'm talking about. This is real food. Not what we eat in Douala, stuffed with fertilizers and all. But, and, and then I asked myself, how do they have so much food? But people who are in quotes, living the city life, um, are claiming that they are poor and they are hungry, so they go for, you know, unhealthy options, you know, or they don't eat healthy at all. Eating healthy means following the guidelines to make sure that your body gets enough nutrients, like your five portions of fruits and vegetables, uh, drinking a lot of water, eating less salt, um, what else? Eating less salt, exercising, of course, uh, eating uh, um, less saturated fat, uh, um, eating, you know, the selected type of stashy food, 
and stuff like that. So I just realized that my grandma, she and my grandpa, you know, my grandpa, unfortunately, wasn't feeling too well, but he had nothing. I don't think I had anything to do with his with his diet. I think it was uh, a more serious il- ailment. So grandpa, you know, he he wasn't feeling well and he eventually, you know, didn't make it from his sickness. But grandma is very okay. She's very strong. As I speak to you, she goes up and down that mountain, that uh, that hill. She goes to her farm. She still sends food to us. I mean, I'm talking about my grandma, right? She's still going to the farm and she's still eating uh, organic food. So it just left me, you know, wondering why do we eat unhealthy food, but we we are supposedly in the part of the world where we should be, uh, or in living in the cities where we should be doing better, you know, eating better, having a better life. So I'm just wondering and asking myself, how is that so? Um, and I'd really like to have a conversation with with someone who in quotes is poor and is struggling to eat healthy food i really like to have that conversation with that with that person um my personal experience when i was growing up although in a middle class family i would say or if i can say that we used to go to the farm i used to go to my auntie juliana's farm uh with you know my dad would make sure that at the weekend we went to the farm and that we actually helped auntie juliana to farm potato, we farmed a goosey, we farmed plantains, we farmed cocoa yams, we farmed yams, we farmed, you know, I used to, I remember I used to, with my cousin uh, Charlotte, we used to actually pluck cherries, oh my gosh, best times of my life, um, it was really good, and we used to farm corn, a lot of corn, and we used to go through mangroves, right, mangroves, Please ignore the screams. I'm at the playground <laughs> um, and the kids are screaming. I've just gone to a more quieter part of the playground because I don't want, you know, a busy mom life to stop me from making my podcast, you know, and just having these conversations with you guys. Uh, and so back to our chat. Um, so my auntie, you know, we, it used to be fun, you know, we used to walk there. Sometimes I used to be so scared when my foot would go into the movable sun. You know, I don't know if you've had that experience, but I have. And it's like, you're drowning into mud. Like literally, you're, it's like you're sinking into mud. And my grandpa used to hold me and say, hey, come back here. So we used to walk on sticks. Like you have to be very careful walking on those sticks. Sometimes crabs would come near your foot. We're passing through a bushy area. It wasn't cool. But when we got to the farm, it was really nice. We took some food with us. We took water. We would sit down. We would chit chat. We would till the soil. We would plant the corn. We would plant the goosey. We would do the harvesting when it was time for harvesting so the fantastic thing about about farming is that there's time for everything right like the book of ecclesiastes says the time to plant and the time to harvest if you don't plant how can you expect to harvest anything at all so people complain that they're poor and that's why they eat unhealthy food but have you planted anything okay i'm going to make an uh, another podcast episode where i'll explain what poor people in quotes I, I'm, I hate to use this word poor people um, because I don't think that it's appropriate I think it's just people who haven't had the, the right information and so they cannot do much about their situation so I'm going to share another I'm going to make another podcast where I'm going to share what I think that people who are at a disadvantaged position who are unable to afford um, you know fruits and vegetables and meat and 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 eggs what they can do to be able to have a balanced diet but today i just really wanted to talk about you know why we should be eating healthy it's very important so people save money right people save money for things like a nice tv a nice shoe a nice shirt uh a trip you know to buy a car to buy a house but they don't eat healthily so they save all this money so that they can actually be, uh, they can actually buy the things that they think will make them happy so they live a frugal life and at the end of the day they 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 fall sick okay because when you're eating not healthy food 
you will fall sick. And when you fall sick, what's going to happen is that all of the money that you've saved, all the things that you've bought with that money will be used or converted, it will be sold. The money that you've been, sa- you've been saving will be taken out of your savings account and it will be given to doctors to provide treatment for your ailment. A lot of times, a lot of our illnesses are related to bad eating habits. I, for one, I had a horrible habit when it came to drinking water, which is one of the um, eight things that we need to do. I wrote an article, I'll link it in the bio of this, in the description uh, of this podcast. You can go and read it, how you can eat healthy. Um, And so I am... you know, I used to have a very terrible habit when it came to drinking water. I saw water as medication, so I never drank water. You know, and it's, it's not, it's really affected me until now. Uh, I suffer from bad migraines, and people always tell me, first thing people tell me is, are you drinking enough water? Every time I have a migraine attack, people ask me, are you drinking enough water? Which perhaps is true, because I don't drink enough water. That's a bad, bad, bad uh, habit when it comes to health. Um... And so I also have to make a conscious effort, right, to eat, to eat. I'm not really a heavy eater. Uh, I'm not, you know, if you see me, <laughs> I'm sort of slim. Um, I don't eat a lot. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't fancy food. But I should actually, you know, I should do better. It's true that more recently I'm eating my veggies more. I take my diet very seriously. I drink my water first thing in the morning. Uh, when I wake up, I do my hot, my green tea. Uh, I, I add some lemon into it. I add uh, some honey into it, and I you know I just drink that first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. I try to walk as much as possible. I don't use the the lift. I walk. I walk through the stairs. You know, um, when I was in Douala, I would take my spots way to work. Right. So when I finish from work. You know, in the in the morning, I would drive to to my job. I would drive to my son's school, drop him off at school, and then drive to my job. And in the afternoon, when it was time to pick up, I would go and get my son, take him home, and then leave my car at home and go to work with a taxi. So in the evening, when I'm done from work, I would just go into the into the bathroom of my office, change into my sports gear, and walk back home. So I wouldn't. I don't catch a cab to go back home. And that's what I did to be able to just do some exercise because we can get really busy. And if we are not intentional about making any, any t- or about engaging in any type of exercise, it can become overwhelming. You would realize that you're doing absolutely no exercise. You wake up and before you blink, your day is over. You haven't done any physical exercise. You're sedentary. You sit down all day at the office and all that. It doesn't help you. So that's what I've been doing. Uh, And that's what I continue to do in the mornings now that I'm no longer going to a nine to five job. In the mornings, more times than not, I'm not going to sit here and lie that I do it every morning. That's not true. Uh, more times than not, I go for a, a walk. You know, when I take my son to school, I come back, I just park the car and I go for a walk. I take my hot uh, tea with lemon and honey, uh, which I'm, I'm having on an empty stomach, right? And I just go for a walk. I go for maybe a 30 minutes walk and then I come back home and just start my day, start my work, what I do. So, yeah. That's what I do, you know. And then for salt intake, um, I don't, I, I personally do not, does, do not, sorry, do not consume a lot of salt. But I have to because I'm hypotensive. So the doctor recommends I eat more salt. But for you, if you're hypertensive, so before you decide on salt and all, consult your doctor. Um, what else, what else have I not mentioned? Yeah, that's more or less it, you know. I just want to talk about eating healthily and what it means, you know. And at the end of the day, right, we are all in the business of financial independence. But if we don't have good health, what use is money to us? I mean, I've just said that if you spend, if you save all your money because you want to go on to some fancy holiday in in Marrakesh, in, in Morocco, or you want to travel to the US or whatever you want to do, um, and you're unable to actually walk because you're very sick what use is that to you
you've just saved money to give to big pharma right you're going to pay the doctors who are already wealthy you're going to pay the pharmaceutical companies to buy medication who are already stinking rich and who are eating all the good food all the bio things that they need to eat they're not stupid they're consuming all these things and you on the other hand are being frugal on your diet to buy things that will not actually matter if you're not feeling well our health is everything I realized that when I had a near-death experience, I said to myself that, oh my God, nothing. When you're sick, nothing else matters to you than to get better. If you've never been sick, God forbid that you get to a point where you are so sick, you cannot get out of bed. The only thing, nothing else, whether it's your job, whether it's your Gucci bag, whether it's your Louis, your, your, um, Yves Saint Laurent Sandals, all these things that we're amassing for ourselves, right? They will not even matter to you when you're on a sick bed. So take your health seriously and you can do that by eating right. Okay? In the next podcast, we will discuss why it is your or how, in quotes, poor people can actually eat good food and live a good life, you know, despite their financial circumstances. Um... Thank you so much for listening. If you liked it, please share it with a friend. Uh, I'm sorry that I don't have a studio or anything like that where I sit down to do recordings. I'm just recording as I go, coming as natural as possible. I don't edit my podcast. I just talk to you all. Uh, thank you for listening. Please share it if you like it. If you don't, leave, you, leave your comment in the comment section and tell me what I can do to make it better. Um, I just like having these conversations with you all so that we can all actually learn how to live better lives thank you so much don't forget to join us on facebook young and independent people on instagram young and independent on twitter young and independent um and also you can check our youtube channel young and independent thank you so much and until next time do take care bye